Welcome back to Got Wire. I'm Adam, and today I have Unify's new UPS Tower, the desktop version. They do also have a 2U rack mount version. The desktop version is $159 on their website, and the 2U rack version is $279. So for the desktop version, I'm gonna be plugging my gaming computer into it. Since my old UPS died, it took a dump on me, so this was great timing. And at $159, I figured, hey, you can't beat it, especially since it's Unify and I already have most of my other gear being Unify, so it'll tie in perfectly. So we'll get this unboxed and I'll show you what it looks like and I'll do some tests with my gaming PC and see how long I can run it off battery. So now that I get it unboxed, on the front here, you have the power button to turn it on. You have a status indicator light to tell you how charged the battery is. You have their logo. And then on the back, you have your network jack to plug it into your network so you can adapt it with your cloud controller or your UDM Pro. And then on one side, you have five outlets that are attached to the battery. And then the other, you just have five outlets that are surge protected. And then on the bottom, you have two RJ45 jacks that are surge protected also. And then the power cord that it comes with is pretty chonky and it looks like it's pretty long too. So I'll get this plugged up, let the battery charge to 100%, and then I'll do a run test off my gaming PC and my monitors and see how long I can run my gaming PC and my monitors off this UPS. So I got it plugged up here underneath my computer. So while I make sure it's at 100%, I'm gonna plug an ethernet cable into the back of it and get it adopted into my Unify controller. So I was having some problems getting this UPS tower to show up in my cloud controller, my cloud key gen 2. For some reason, when I first plugged it up, it was giving itself an IP address of 192.168.1.20. Uh, so it wasn't pulling DHCP for some reason. So I had to set my laptop to that subnet 192.168.1.whatever and I still couldn't talk to it. I couldn't SSH into it or nothing. So I went to my PFSense router and what I did was I got the MAC address from from the port that it's plugged into. I just clicked on the port and as you can see here, port four, there's the MAC address. I copied that and then went to PFSense, went to services, DHCP server, and then clicked on my LAN. And I did what's called a DHCP reservation. I hit add static mapping. I send it 192.168.4.13, put in its MAC address, and then named it Ubiquity UPS. So that way, when I plugged it in, it pulled the IP address, 192.168.4.13. All I did was power cycle it fully off and then turn it back on. And now my Cloud Key Gen 2 controller can see it. So we'll click on click to adopt. And it got done adopting it here, UPS Tower. So we'll click on it and you can actually see the status of each plug here. They're all enabled. And these are your surge for the RJ45 ports on the bottom. And this port right here is yellow because it's only a 100 meg port for you to be able to connect it to your network. And it says I'm only using 60 watts of the 600 watts on it. And the battery is almost 100% full. It should be 100% full. I guess it used some when I unplugged it, was messing with it, trying to get the ethernet jack to work on it and then once you finally do get it adapted into your controller you can go to the settings wheel here and hit static and i can assign that static to it right now if i wanted to have actual static on it instead of the dhcp reservation but i'm also gonna leave it on dhcp and then right here is your nut server if you have one of those you can click on that and configure your nut server to get that to talk and then you can turn on and off the led and then you can also do safe shutdown pairing so i have a unas 2 I just named it YouTube UNAS2. So you can click on click to pair. And if you have that plugged into it, once your UPS gets down to a certain charge percentage, it'll automatically shut down your NAS. That way you don't lose data, which is kind of cool. So I'm gonna do a run test on it now. I'm gonna turn on my PC with my monitors and unplug the UPS from the wall and time and see how long I can run my gaming desktop that has an i7 and a 4080 in it. See how long I can run it just, you know, watching some YouTube on it. So as you can see here, it says we have about 27 minutes until it is fully drained. And I'm using about 102 watts with just my computer and my two screens on. Just got YouTube pulled up. So I have my timer here. So far it's been three minutes and it dropped down to 76% so we'll see if that timer is any accurate 26 minutes I'll let you know when I get down to zero well it's almost empty and it's blinking red 
and it says on the web page I have 27% battery left with 0% time to empty. So we'll see how long it takes for it to turn off here. So overall, once I got the Unify UPS tower adopted, it worked great. For some reason, when I first plugged it up, it gave itself an IP address of 192.168.1.20. So it wasn't pulling DHCP because my home network is 192.168.4 slash 24 network. So I had to go into PFSense and find its MAC address from the Unify switch I had it plugged into and set up a DHCP reservation and PFSense. And then once I power cycled it, it was able to get that DHCP reservation IP address. So if you're having problems with your Unify controller not seeing this, give that a try, see if that works for you guys. And this ran my gaming PC and my monitors for about 19 and a half minutes, which isn't too bad for a little desktop UPS. 19 and a half minutes is long enough for you to be able to save your work and shut down your computer safely. Or if you're like me, it's long enough to pull out your backup generator and get it hooked up to your house. Ubiquity does have a 2U version that's $279 on their website, but it's currently sold out on their website if you wanted a rack mount version and not a desktop version. If you're running Unify gear and you're thinking about checking one out, I would say it's definitely worth picking one up. And side note, I don't know if you guys saw at the top of my web browser, I am a veteran. If any of you guys are a veteran, comment down below and let me know your branch of service and how long you were in for. I just did three years infantry here at Fort Campbell. 101st Airborne. And also, I'm almost at a thousand subscribers. So if you're not subscribed, I'd really appreciate it if you went down there and hit that subscribe button and leave me a comment. Let me know if you guys are gonna pick up one of these or what you think about it. And at a thousand subscribers, I'm gonna be doing a giveaway of this Trend Networks PoE Pro tester. So make sure you're subscribed and you don't miss that. But I'm Adam with GotWire and I'll see you guys on the next one.